Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Mon tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to be doing our custom logs using variants once again. So let's get started. Log equals new custom block log. Log as normal. We are going to have to register block with variants. Log, then new item block variants. Log. And then we can use the same for loop as we are going to be using the custom block planks enum type once again. Register render log i, and then we can copy the previous function here and just change this to log underscore. Now, of course, we've got to create the custom block log. So click create and put it in init.blocks. It's going to extend block log and implement I met a name, which is an, which is a interface we created in the last episode. Import block log and click Control Shift No. And firstly, we are going to create the constant for our variant. So public static final property enum then triangle brackets and put custom block planks enum type give it a name variant and this is equal to property enum we're gonna have to import with control shift for now put dot and then two triangle brackets and copy everything's in this triangle brackets and put it in here Type the word create, hover over create, and we are going to add the third one, string, class, and predicate. The string is going to be variant, the class is going to be custom block planks .enum type dot class, and the predicate is going to be a new predicate. Once again, triangle brackets, custom block planks .enum type, and then Instead of putting a semicolon on the end, we are going to open open this. In here, we're going to want to put public boolean apply. Then put at nullable custom but planks to enum type, and then apply. Open curly brackets there. Type return apply.meta apply.getmeta sorry is less than and then the number of um, the number of enums you have in custom bot planks to enum type. I have two, so I'm gonna put two. Now just to finish this off you need to delete this bracket, put two more brackets and then put a closing bracket and a semicolon after this. Hover over and import predicate. What a predicate is, is something that this class is required, um, is required to create this variant. And then we have to do whatever it says inside of apply. So now we have created our variant constant. We are going to need our constructor. Custom block log just requires string name. Going to set unlocalized name as normal and set registry name. Then set sound type to sound type dot wood and then set the default state. So set default state this dot block state dot get base state with property variant custom bot planks dot enum type dot and then I'm going to set mine as my basic default one as tutorial. Then after that dot with property log axis the value of enum facing dot y so enum axis dot y so we set it to be normally the default state to be facing up and with the tutorial enum value we have to get get sub blocks now this is where if we go in we can open up our custom block planks folder our custom block planks class sorry and drag it to the side and we can start copying things. 
This function is completely identical as it's, add, it's actually adding it to our log instead of the planks. Now get state from meta is a bit different. Get state from meta, this function we have to account for the axis as well as the variant i block state state is equal to this dot get default state with property variant which we can copy from here next we have to switch meta and six well this means that there are six meta values then we have to use cases so case the meta is zero state is equal to state dot with property log axis enumaxis.y break then case 2 state is equal to state dot with property log axis enumaxis dot x case and break then case 4 actually just saying if this if you have this switch here meta it's meta and 6 because there are three different there are three different axes, y, x, and z, and that, and there are two different variants for me. There's always going to be three axes, but do it should be three times the number of variants that you have. Say so you have ten variants, it's going to be meta and thirty, and this will be case zero, case ten, case twenty, and case and case default. But for me, it's zero, two, four, and six. So. This one, state is equal to state dot with property x, z, sorry, and break. And finally, default state is equal to state dot with property log axis, enum axis dot none, and return state. So, as I said, so you, say you had. The, say you had um, 10 variants, this will be meta and 30, this will be 0, 10, 20 and default. Next, get meta from state, int i is equal to 0. This is just going to be our default thing. Then firstly, this is the default thing. i is equal to i. Or, i is equal to double open brackets. Custom block planks dot enum type state dot get value variant then out of the brackets dot get meta. Next we're gonna do another switch. Switch block log dot enum axis state dot get value log axis case x i is or equal to two. What this is saying is if it's x, i is equal to two. If it's not x or it's not all the others, i is just the default here. Break case y, i is or equal to four. Break and case z i is or equal to 6 and return i it doesn't if we have a yellow a yellow um, error here just click add suppress warnings incomplete switch minecraft has this in their own default class so we just suppress warnings as it's saying is an incomplete switch but we have already set a default, so we don't have to. Now, obviously, create block state. We're obviously, going to return a new block state container. This. And new i property array of variant. And log axis. Control shift to now to import i property. Next, get silk touch drop. Turn a new item stack. Item dot get item block from block this. The number of them, which is one. Double open brackets. Custom block planks dot enum type state dot get value variant dot get meta. So we get what block we have, which is going to be our log block. Then we get the count of them, which is one. 
and then we get the variant. Get damage dropped. Or well, it's damage dropped, I believe it's called. We are just going to literally return what we just put in here. Return custom block planks to item type, stage.get value, variant.get meta. And finally, get to special name, which is the thing we created in the interface in the previous episode. If you haven't checked it out, we can copy the identical thing from in here. Give it a save, and that is everything done. We do not need an enum for our log as we use the planks enum. And we'll be using the planks enum for our leaves as well and any other blocks that we want to have identical for all. In theory, you could go through using the same functions as you did for the log and you can put it in your ore, your block, your stairs, everything if you want them all to be the same. So I'm going to move my log into my trees package and then we're going to have to create the block states. So inside of here, I'm going to copy planks and call it log. And we actually have six block states. You can copy this. I'm going to put a comma on it first and then copy it. Copy it three more times and remove the comma from the last one. And eat before each of them, you're going to want to put axis equals x, this one, axis equals y, I can know axis equals x as well, then axis equals y twice, then axis equals z. Since this has two, var two properties, we set the axis to x and the variant tutorial the axis to y and the variant tutorial axis to z and the variant tutorial. Then click Control F, type in planks, and then type in log, click case sensitive, and click replace all. And click save. So that will set log and planks. Obviously, you have, if you have more variants, you've got to do this for more things. So, say I had a third variant, I would have to add one for X, one for Y, and one for Z. That's our lang. Now for the model to this, it's a bit different, so I'm gonna bring it in and then I'll, I'll copy it from motherboard and then I'll explain it to you. Once again, GitHub is available in the description or my channel banner where you can find my mods. Where you can find all my source code and you can copy it. So I have my log copper and log aluminium here. I'll quickly rename this to log tutorial. As you can see, we have two textures, which is the end, which is the, the top and bottom. And then the side, which is the four sides around the side. And it is a cube column. I'm going to have to change this to TM. And give that a save. So as you can see, we have a log aluminium top texture and a log aluminium texture. So you have to create two textures. Then log tutorial, change this to TM. This to TM and this to tutorial so once again we have two textures log tutorial top and log tutorial item textures are basically exactly the same so i'm going to copy planks aluminium and change to log aluminium and just change this to log aluminium copy planks tutorial change it to log tutorial and change this in here to log tutorial I'm also going to bring in my textures where you can obviously create your own. I'm just going to... Actually, I did it last episode. I've grabbed, dragged all my textures already. Meaning that this should just work if I boot the game. Obviously, you're going to have to create your own textures. For each of... You're going to need the top and the side texture for each of your logs. I've just found an error here. This needs to be meta and one and percent two. This shows that we have two variants, but we have six. Now your game should boot. We also, in our block states, need an axis equals none. So inside log. Copy this again. 
and change this to axis equals none. Axis equals none. And that should finally do it. If we have a look, we find tutorial log and aluminium log. As we can see here, we have both logs. They have a different texture on the top as they do on the side. And they have the same texture on the bottom as well. I might set up a somewhere over here. I might set up my display showcase. And there we go. So if you have enjoyed today's video or found it useful, please hit the like button down below. I will have an, multiple F1 2017 videos coming out as of the release of the game on Friday, Friday 25th of August. But I will try and keep up with some tutorials as well. Thanks for watching. My name has been Harry, and goodbye.